A jury in Chicago proving prominent Democrats wrong after they blindly backed Jesse Smollett following his fake hate crime in 2019. Joe Concha, Fox News contributor, joins us live. And Joe, one of the things that we've been talking about all morning long is this um, overwhelming support for Jesse Smollett back in 2019. And then yeah. nobody who initially supported him really corrected the record. Uh, what are your thoughts on that front? No, Kamala Harris, for example, put up a tweet uh, saying that this was a modern day lynching. That tweet is still up. The vice president doesn't speak to the press anyway, so don't expect her to be answering any questions about this nor issuing any apologies, just as one of many examples. But it's important to realize all the resources that were used to investigate this hoax from the get-go, because this is why this hoax is important. 2021 will go down as one of the deadliest years in Chicago history. Uh, 2019 wasn't too great either when this hoax was carried out. More than 1,000 homicides already recorded in Cook County this year alone. Think about that. So police and investigators have more than enough on their plate, yet here's Jussie Smollett claiming two men yelled, what, this is MAGA country in Chicago, which is like <laughs> Yelling, this is MAGA country on the set of The View, carrying bleach, carrying a noose, <laughs> and just happened to find this gay black Hollywood actor out at 2 o'clock in the morning during a polar vortex in January. And many in media and politics actually pushed this tall tale because they wanted to believe it, guys. It is unbelievable. Meantime, Joe, not you, Joe, but Joe Biden appears to read the teleprompter uh. cue end of message during his tribute to Bob Dole. Take a listen. But at the end of the day, We've always found ways to come together. We can find that unity again. Then the message said, end of message. I mean, Joe, funny when Ron Burgundy does it. We shouldn't be laughing. Isn't it really concerning when the yeah. leader of the free world does this now repeatedly? React to Pyro and Shimkus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, and it's happened many times before, yeah. right? So we, we, we've seen this movie. It's just so disconcerting that the president does have any ability, even during a funeral like this, to just know cues like that, uh, to preview his speech in any way, shape, or form. It's, it's just sad. I'm sorry. There's no other word to describe it. Yeah. I, I, for me, it's like he who has messed up the teleprompter, cast the first stone. I do it. But, I do it all the time. But, yeah, the end of message thing was just like a—, a of instruction to stop, and he and he read it. Right, but I mean, yeah. again, this really does call into question the cognitive capacity. Yeah, because you, you know can what, do it that over is a, over. that is a good point, and I guess that Joe, it sort of does prove why you know his handlers do give him lists of reporters to go off of because he does need apparently a little bit of extra help to keep everything straight. Pivot to next topic. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, right? It's a scripted presidency. It's homogenized, and people at home see it and they know it. And it's not just about inflation and gas prices and crime and Afghanistan and the border. It's the perception that the president shouldn't be doing this job at this stage of his life at this point. You know who should be doing his job? Joe Concha. He does it every day for us. We're very appreciative. Joe Concha, go out there, have a great weekend, and uh, thank you, comma, Joe Concha. <laughs> Got it. There you go. Of course. And by the way, I'll be with you guys on Christmas morning, I'm told, oh, so bring your own tree, oh, BYOT. Awesome. BYOT. Oh, cool. Got it, yeah. Joe Concha. All Love right. You. See you Thank then. You. Bye.